Hi, my name is Ron. I'm with Next Wave CNC. And I'm working on a project right now that I thought might be interesting for some of you people just getting started. It's a pocket with lettering and a logo. And it's for my RV park. I've got 29 signs to make. I'm on number 27. So I thought I'd show you from start to finish how it works. So this is what the finished design will look like. I'm using PVC because it is going to be subjected to severe weather outside. Uh, some of the recommendations from Facebook pages and things I follow recommended PVC. I got it from Home Depot. It comes in many different sizes. I ended up getting an 11 inch by 8 foot piece and it's 1 inch thick. As PVC is rather expensive, I thought I'd do my design on something a little less expensive to make sure it turns out the way I wanted it to turn out. I have this insulation foam board that works really well. I had some scraps of left over from a project that I was doing. So I laid it out on here, cut this on the CNC just to get an idea. I did make a few changes. I reduced the number font, increased the site font. I was pretty happy with the way the logo turned out. So once I had my design down, now we turn to the CNC. So this is a piece of the PVC. As you can see, it's one inch. And I just cut them into 11 and a quarter by 11 and a quarter squares because I didn't want to do a bunch of painting afterwards and masking off and taking time. And because I'm doing a lot of them, one of the easiest things you can do is just paint the surface ahead of time. So I did three coats of spray lacquer. I let that cure for a few days and that becomes our blanks. So now I'll show you how to get it set up on the CNC. So today I'm using the Shark HD 520 and because we're doing multiple projects and they're all exactly the same size, I use something as simple as a framer square so that it gives me a point of reference every time. And so we'll just insert the 11 and a quarter square. Once you have your material in there, you, you want to be sure and put clamps, some way to hold it. I use four clamps, one on each corner. You also have to be sure of your design so that you're, when you're cutting it doesn't run into one of the clamps. You can see I have ran into them a few times. So I have a quarter inch down cut spiral bit. We're going to use that to do our clearance, clean out, and then it'll drill the two mounting holes. Once we have that done, we'll change over to our 60 degree V-bit and I'll show you that in a minute. So to get this set up, and because I've already done multiple signs, this is already dead center, so it's halfway between both the front and the back and the sides. Now we have to find the zero surface and I'm going to do that using a touch plate. Place my touch plate on the surface below my bit. I apply the magnet to the bit itself. I prefer that. It's a better connection. Go to the apps on the pendant. Use touch plate calibration. It's a Z calibration. It asks you to confirm. All you do is touch the bit. It gives you red. You know you have contact and you're safe to begin. Press the OK button. The bit will lower until it comes in contact with the plate. Raises up. If you're happy with those results, you hit press OK. Now I have my 00, zero on the Z. Remember to remove your touch plate, obviously. Once we've verified our clamps are tight, come over to the pendant, select USB, select your file, which is this case is Site 27 Clearance. I go to Next. I'm not going to use Virtual Zero. This material is very flat. And so I bypass that and I'm ready to start. Press the start button.
Okay, so now that we have the clearance path done, before we remove the quarter inch bit, we want to do our two drill mounting holes. And to do that, we go back into the main menu. Okay, we go down to our drill mounting holes. We don't need to make any changes to our design. Hit next. Again, we're not using virtual zero. And now we're ready to drill our two mounting holes. All right, we've removed our quarter inch clearance bit, replaced it with a 60 degree V bit. Anytime you do a bit change, you've got to recalibrate your Z. So again, we use the touch plate, connect the magnet to the bit, press our touch plate calibration, Z calibration, make sure it's making connection, and press the OK button. Accept the results. We remove that and we're ready to do our detail carving. So now the machine is finished, you can go to the pendant and exit and then raise the router. You'll see there's some little leftover piece of plastic from the uh, V bit, but these just come right off. And so I'll clean that up and I'll show you the finished product.